walking to a friend's house. It was like a bunch of buses, like the kids were just getting out of school. I ain't really think nothing of it. I had seen some guys that had rolled by that I ain't messed with for real. But I ain't know that, that they were going to do what they did. And once they had turned back around, some was telling me like to run. But I ain't run because it was just more so of a pride thing. Pride got in the way. I never ran. I just kept walking. And that's when uh, they got the letting off shots. And it was like 10 shots. And I only got hit twice. So it was a blessing. I really was confused. Like, I didn't know if I was going to get hit in the head or what was going to happen. And it was like, they didn't stop shooting. Like, once I fell, they kept letting off shots. So I just didn't know how it was going to end. I just protected my head and covered it. Uh, severe, severe nerve damage to the, uh, the left leg. Mm -hmm. They were saying I, wasn't, I probably wasn't going to be able to walk again and everything. So my mind was everywhere. Talk about what you, what your original thoughts were around retaliation or just being angry with your thing. I was afraid to kill. I ain't gonna lie. I just, my mind was everywhere. I was in the dark. Like that was the most darkest place I ever been in in my life. So it was just, it, I don't want to be there no more. I was being mean to everybody. I ain't had nothing nice, nothing. I just like, full of full of rage, anger, just exposing on everybody, every chance I got, ain't anything wrong. So talk us through how'd you come out of that darkness? Really you and uh, the we lie. Y'all help me out. I got to uh, express how I felt and without being judged or anything. So I got to tell my story and help people and uh, mentor the youth. Some people that was around when you had me uh, come to Willow Run. Had to, got to do that, and it was it was kind of it was a great experience. I knew it was more to life. It ain't just this. It's we can we can save the youth. It ain't too late. What do you want people to know about you and and the, and the other fellows who might be out there who are uh, like you who are survivors? A good person. We can all we can all just come together. I'm trying to put everything behind me. All the bad stuff that I've done, I'm, I'm putting behind me. I'm trying to move straight and narrow. Definitely a survivor.